Good morning and welcome to another Friday 5. So yeah, Discovery standing here immobilized because of the worn out tow links, but also that not that's not why it's immobilized, but uh, I just noticed Let's see if we can find it. Uh, yeah, so here. You can see it, but uh, the tire is bulge, bulging out, or yeah, and it's got a hit, I think, here. It's starting to bulge out, and you can see some cracks. So, I don't want to be driving that, so that's gonna be standing there until I get new tires. So, getting tires quicker than I thought. Um, haven't ordered them yet, so that's gonna be on the on the task list later today uh, but um, so I've been working with the garage trying to clean it out it's not super clean yet but I, as you saw I removed uh, everything for the fender and starting to clean it out and then it's gonna be put epoxy on the floor and everything so I had three boxes of parts from for the fender one two three and some other stuff in this one and all of this it's now going to go down to Eric. Let's see, like so. So everything that I have for the Defender should uh, yeah, just go there. And also, a lot of it I got from Eric in the first place. So yeah, parts are just going around. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna drive the Nissan Leaf, wife's car and then uh, go and to Hans Erik which is going on a trip uh, so we can check out his Defender uh, and he is driving past uh, Erik at Thurmedal so he's gonna take the part so very kind so yeah let's go to Hans Erik and see his Defender I've never been to Hans Eric's place before, so uh, hopefully we can find it. Uh, so I'm just gonna look for a white Defender. So apparently I'm on the right road, but I am I went the wrong way in the intersection, so it's gonna be the other way around, I think. Defender. Uh, Hans Egg just got his uh, roof attempt on. I think he put an extension on the. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Hans Egg. Good dog. The historian in the group. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Yeah, I was just talking about you putting on the roof rack yep. and you have it put on an extension. Yep. Yep. Uh, I remade it yeah. actually. New side bars and uh, some extra slats. Yeah, so with the and front the runner you can actually extend it if you want to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I had to change all the side bars because the, the, they didn't have the right length. It yeah. was special made for my Range Rover Sport. Yeah. And it's uh, uh, nar more narrow than the original Defender rack. It's ah. about uh, well, seven centimeters smaller just yeah. to fit uh, the Range Rover Sport. Yeah. But I um, made some uh, extra details and uh, I could still use it on the Defender. Yeah, nice. Uh, it's not actually the correct way to do it, but uh, <laughs> I think it, it works. I'll show you later. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's enough. Yeah. <laughs> it, it does the trick. Yeah. Actually. So and let's uh, see if I get. Uh, my wife up there <laughs> 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 and down again. <laughs> uh, yeah, rooftop tent is on. Yeah, but you're missing a uh, missing a a wheel on top. <laughs> <laughs> I have one. I hope you can uh, help me fix it. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, but nice. 
So as I said, Hans Erik is driving on a trip and also going uh, past uh, Erik in Brumedal. Yeah. So uh, made some special delivery for special delivery for the Land Rover drive. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, a cheap special delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the freight in Norway is just super expensive. So uh, if, if someone drives, we can uh, bring the, the boxes. Yeah, so we will see if we... You just have to take what you can and then uh, the rest I can send. Uh, it's not quite sure that he gets all the parts if, if I can use some of them. Yeah, uh, but uh, that's a, that, uh, this is, is uh, the go-around parts. So if, you ha if there is something you need, uh, you can uh, pull it out. Brakes? Brakes? <laughs> I have rare brakes, I think, uh, at home. Yeah, I done. just yeah. <laughs> changed it. Yeah, okay. um, yeah, so you put it in a plate. Yeah. yeah so just for storage yeah. convenience. Yeah. Just, uh, I, I had to make some tries to, to, to see if this is what we can make more permanent later. Yeah. But, uh, you know, the, yeah, the age is... Uh, the age is, is uh, talking against it, ac actually, because it's, uh, you need some acrobatics <laughs> to, to get, <laughs> get up, up to the roof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also the, and get the, and get the, the tent, uh, tent collapsed is also uh, yeah. quite a job when you are yeah. alone. It's, uh, I, I did it yesterday, but it, you need some techniques. Yeah, because this tent opens. Both, both in the front in yeah, and in the rear. Yeah, so much in front. Yeah. And because it's all uh, not the full height in front, it, it goes higher in the back. Yeah. So it's uh, different solutions on, on different tents from yeah. James Brew. Yeah. And we prefer to have extra height in one end, contra to have its me medium height in both ends. Yeah. I yeah, so I've seen the uh, alley cap or the. Yeah. yeah. They only race in the in the rear. Yeah. And, 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 and this like has, has uh, also a solution where it's parallel goes up. Yeah. But yeah. then it's I think it's one meter high. Yeah. But when it's it in this uh, solution on the it, it's uh, about one meter and forty in the in the back and, yeah. and, and uh, thirty in the front. Yeah. But so it's, it's difficult to close because of the, the tension or the Yeah, the it's 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 so hard to get down and yeah. uh, you have to get the sides inside. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so easily done on the videos from Dresperu, <laughs> but it's it's not that easy. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just made a solution with some cli uh, climbing equipment. Yeah. So I drop this to the top and uh, I can take it down and lock it and go and push the before textiles you close. In inside yeah. and so uh, just another bit and uh, another bit and another bit. Yeah, that was uh, smart. But I, I need uh, a stair to, uh, to uh, get up. Uh, a ladder to, to, to get, get up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's do some. So, and I bought this extra uh, rear wheel carrier from Oro. Yeah. It's a quite new product, I think. Okay. Um, you know it? Oro? Mm. Oro? Uh, Oro 4x4 or something? Yeah, no, something. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I do yeah. Some, uh, some extras uh, like uh, undercarriage uh, protection and so on. And yeah. Winch. Uh, yeah, I think bumpers. I heard of it. Yeah, I think I, I've yeah. seen some of it. Yeah. Yeah, and you have this uh, one arm. Yeah, instead of yeah, because the uh, the original one is two, one up yeah, there and then uh, different solutions there. But yeah. uh, I, I tr chose this one, and it says it takes about a hundred and hundred kilos. So I got two electric bikes. That's fifty kilos plus yeah. the, the tire. Yeah. tire. Yeah, nice. So I hope this will, will function. Yeah, it looks solid. So yeah, and so you can adjust some. Rubber bushings here to get uh, as little noise as, po yeah. as possible. Yeah. Mm. And you bought a new uh, fridge. It's. I think I can live in the <laughs> in first section and my wife in the second. So yeah. it's two compartments and uh, they can be uh, adjusted uh, separately. Yeah, so you have one fridge and one freezer. Yeah, I use both as freezers. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, just uh, drawing five amps So yeah, and a compressor. So it's... it's Only five amps, okay. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's uh, quite uh, cheap to... Yeah. Which brand is this? 
Domestic? No, not domestic. It's um, yeah, Alpicul. Yeah. Yes. yeah, it's a cheap one. Actually, okay. it's not more than five thousand. Oh, so it's it's uh, half the price for a domestic. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I've been looking for a fridge. I need uh, I need a fridge. But looking at uh, like a forty-five, fifty uh, liters. I have one uh, for uh, fifteen or twenty liters. Yeah. Uh, the last one I had on the trip. Okay. It's uh, just a small one, but it's. Uh, you don't even get some milk in it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I said this is not much, but uh, then we don't need to have extra boxes for for, for food. Yeah, yeah, everything is in in yeah. there. Yeah, nice. Can I ask where you are going on a trip? No, no. <laughs> secret. <laughs> That's secret. Okay. okay. <laughs> so <laughs> and uh, uh, I arranged this uh, quizzes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and, yeah, but good. If, if you know where I'm going, you, you will win every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, uh, Jose, when he goes on a trip, they always ask, where are we now? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's yeah. really fun to follow along. Where shall we draw? Where shall we draw? And it's really fun. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I love the humor. <laughs> 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 when I met Jose, uh, when, I, when I first met Jose Eric and then started, I was like, is this guy a bit off? <laughs> it's, 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 it's I, I, I didn't get the humor, so but after you get to know him, you get the humor, and it's really, really funny. So yeah. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Well, if you promise not to to tell anybody, I can tell you. So <laughs> you shut off the yeah, camera. I can tell that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> can do it. Can do it. No, it's no big deal. Yeah, we are going to Denmark and and so on. We don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're going south. Oh, south. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Holland, Germany. Yeah, perhaps meeting Eric. At, uh, in Germany on this yeah he's going for a work trip down to his uh, class university yeah <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Eric is working on tractors now yeah. uh, for class or the class tractors basically he, uh, he works for Lena yeah the company no, is called it's not, a, it's not Lena anymore it's a new name this is a new name yeah. okay yeah yeah so he's going down to get some courses I think mm. for his um, technician license I don't know but uh, yeah a master degree in plowing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I was I was joking around. He's gonna be he's gonna buy like a old uh, old uh, uh, farm or something and start. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's almost li living in on a farm. So, yeah. but cool. Yeah, that's great. I wish I could uh, come along on this trip for sure. Uh, but, uh, but as you know, they they are not. It's not a problem camping uh, or or parking with a roof tent alongside a good hotel. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think yeah, uh, I think from my wife's point of view, uh, a good combination of free camping and yep. uh, a hotel yep. room yep. is uh, is the way to go. So, so we, we are tra traveling uh, for. for after the good weather, yeah, and if it's bad, we take a hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, so yep. I'm that's just gonna it. wish you a great trip. Thank you, and thank and you uh, for follow me on the Facebook. Facebook, yeah, yeah. on Eric. I can uh, quiz. <laughs> quiz, follow the quiz. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say thank you to Hans Eric for showing us around the yep. car and uh, for taking the trips down. Not uh, taking the parts down to uh, to Eric. And uh, as always, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.